everybody, it's Kinger here. Another Kinger Hook Tip. It's uh, Sunday night, end of a good weekend. Hope you guys get jump started for a good next uh, five days. Had a uh, mailbag, a uh, couple questions on Lawrenceville. People wanted to talk a little bit about their winning tradition, and I think I can move that into our jump shot uh, lesson for today rather smoothly. So, Lawrenceville, Illinois, it's a, it's a town southern part of Illinois, but it's very rich in basketball history, particularly the or late 70s and mid 80s to, yeah, late 70s to mid 80s. <clears throat> uh, they were coached by Ron Felling, who is one gentleman that I'd love to have dinner with sometime, because he's got to have all the dirt on Bobby Knight. There was a legendary fallout between those two. It was kind of the downfall of Bobby Knight's uh, career. So uh, if you're looking for something to read tonight, Click uh, Google Ron Felling and you'll figure that out. Um, in the mid 80s, uh, Felling uh, coached a guy by the name of Marty Simmons. Marty Simmons was known as the Mule because I believe they won 68 games in a row. And the Mule, uh, he was nicknamed the Mule because the whole team jumped on his back and he carried them. Marty, uh, <clears throat> about 10 years later, looked like he ate the whole team because he's about 350 pounds. Uh, he left Indiana and went on to Evansville, and now he's a coach at Evansville. He's slimmed down a little bit, but Marty Simmons and I have two things in common. One, we like to eat, and two, we like our gimmick diets. And Marty's about, I think he's back down around 250 now, and I wish I was that lucky. Uh, another player that was great at Lawrenceville is a guy named Doug Novsek, who uh, was overlooked because Simmons carried the team, but Novsek was a great player in his own right. I'm not sure of Doug's history, but he, he was a strong ball player. Finally, there's a guy named Jay Scheidler, who's probably uh, the original blonde bomber and one of the best shooters to ever come out of the state of Illinois. Uh, there was never a shot that he was afraid to take. He loved it. I think it was in the late 70s, early 80s. Late 70s was when Jay played. Went on to the University of Kentucky. Had a kind of a uh, average career there, but he's a legend as far as Illinois is concerned. So, one thing that Jay Scheidler uh, uh, did is he really focused on one part of the rim and he always watched the rim after he shoots. This is a very important. Repetition is the key to shooting. It doesn't matter your form, but picking out a place, shooting it, not watching the ball, watching the rim and a part on the rim. I always watch the back eyelet of the rim as a shooter. It gets you a focus, you know, hairline focus on that part of the rim and just stare at that after you shoot the ball. Scheidler did that and his results were uncanny. And, and the thing that really kind of makes it go hand in hand with today's game, if you watch Jordan, a lot of golf, Jordan Spieth looks at the hole when he putts. That's revolutionary, that's different. Uh, in today's game, and I think a lot of people you can take putting as the same uh, kind of the same course of action as you would to shooting a jump shot. So I'm going to show you right now what Jay did. Here's the jump shot that he would take. I'm staring at the back of the rim right now. Scheidler used to do. That's how Jay Scheidler did his jump shot. Stare at the back of the rim, focus. Repetition is everything in basketball, most importantly in shooting. We're going to go through a lot of shooting drills later. I wanted to thank uh, the sponsors. Uh, this week we have two. The Club Shot and Beer in Elmhurst voted the number one uh, uh, oval bar in Northern Illinois. Uh, go say hi to Johnny Horn and Connie. They have turtle races on Sunday night. They'll take care of you, tell them Kinger sent you. Secondly, a new sponsor just came in. Uh, Rush Creek Distillery in Harvard, Illinois. Uh, their new vodka distillery. Everything's uh, triple charcoal infused, filtered, uh, gluten free vodka. Uh, say hi to Cluck, Mark Stricker, and Jeff McCarthy, a true hero of mine. Um, they're on to exciting ventures at Rush Creek Distillery. Take care, everybody. We'll check in in a couple days. Thanks now.